John Ford. Without question, one of the greatest directors in the history of film, possibly the greatest. Indeed, no other director has as many true classics to his credit as does Ford. The Informer, Young Mr. Lincoln, Drums Along the Mohawk, The Grapes of Wrath, She Wore a Yellow Ribbon, The Searchers, The Quiet Man, Mr. Roberts. The list goes on and on, one classic of the silver screen after another. In a career that spanned over six decades, John Ford won four Oscars as Best Director. No one has ever equaled this feat, and it's safe to say that no one ever will. The great Orson Welles was once asked who his major influences were as a filmmaker. Without hesitation, Welles replied, The Masters, by which I mean John Ford, John Ford, and John Ford. Indeed, John Ford is perhaps the most influential director in film history. In most of his great films, Ford used many of the same performers time and again. This troupe of actors became known as the legendary John Ford Stock Company. Included in this impressive array of talent were John Wayne, Henry Fonda, Ward Bond, Victor McLaughlin, George O'Brien, Pedro Armendariz, Joanne Drew, Maureen O'Hara, Jane Darwell, and Mildred Natwick, to name just a few. Another regular was Ben Johnson, who made seven films for John Ford and was one of the director's personal favorites. And this is Harry Carey Jr. Carey appeared in nine Ford films, among them The Three Godfathers, She Wore a Yellow Ribbon, The Searchers, and Wagon Master. If film is the predominant art form of the 20th century, well then John Ford was one of our greatest artists, maybe our best. Not only were his films about our history and our heritage, but they were part of it. I started working with John Ford quite early in his career, so that I uh, got, to, got to know the man, and uh, uh, Hank was, uh, John Ford was his man. He, uh, he had nothing but wonderful things to say about him, and I, as I <coughs> moved along, I could see why he did, and after I worked with him, I certainly could see it. You know, I've been in a lot of movies the last 40 years, some of the best and some, well, I'd, I'd rather forget about. But the work that I'm the most proud of are the films that I made for John Ford, because those films, they'll last forever. And I'm very grateful that I was a part of that. Now, hopefully, future generations, when they see those films, not only will they be entertained and moved, but maybe, well, just maybe, they'll get a little idea of how this great nation of ours was built. You know, we, we should all be very proud of that. I know I am, and I know John Ford was because he didn't want to shame the land from which he sprung. For American movie classics, I'm Harry Carey Jr. So long. <laughs>